Hello, uh, today I'm going to do a little video on updating or editing, I should say, your uh, bill of materials. Um, I've upgraded to 2020 and I've just been kind of cleaning up some of my stuff. So I've, I've already updated a couple of these uh, in the previous version, 2019. So, uh, sorry, let me close that down again. You want to go to the output tab. And then go document manager and bill of materials editor click on that to open it up and i guess basically whatever you're doing in advanced steel it's always recommended to make a copy first so i'm going to do this all this with pictures this is what it looks like right now and uh, this is a kind of what i want it to look like uh, so let me go back down I go to your bill and right click and copy template and rename your template. Now you can import and export these from different versions or different computers. So if you lose these, you can bring them in from another or somebody else's computer, really, if you want to. Uh, <clears throat> if you just go up here, import and export. So you can export from one version and import to another. It's pretty basic. It just brings it out in a file. Just pick which ones you want to export. So if I pick this one, put it over there, pick this one, you know, pick whichever ones you want, do OK, and it'll create an export file for that. And then you can just import that into your next version. But anyway, <clears throat> so this is the new one I've just created. And I want to make it kind of look like this. So we'll try and do it pretty quickly. So your image is here. So click on your image and you'll see it. This is all its information. So click here on your bitmap and click here. I have these all, these images are ones I've used in the past. I can delete a lot of these, but they're saved in uh, the prototypes. In my prototypes, I have an image folder. So when I copy the <coughs> copy my advanced steel around the images go with them so just pick this now you will need to be aware that this file is going to have to be pretty small um because it's contained inside it's going to be contained inside this file so if you try and make it too large when you go to save it it won't save now mine is just saved so it was fine so now as you can see from my assembly list uh, i have the project up here i have the list type here um, i use the project user attributes for my phase so that when i do lists in the middle of jobs if it's not the whole job i can just change the attributes uh, i'll show you that as well before i close down uh, but uh, you know i don't know if anyone else does this it kind of works for me Maybe it doesn't work for anybody else, I don't know. But we'll see. So what I do first is copy this. So copy. Go up here and paste. So this is just a... Um, I'll leave this one up here. Just so I can get my size correct. So just drag and drop. And I'm going to keep this in line with the one below. So it looks proper. I'm going to make that text larger. So just go to your text. I'm going to make it bold bold and 18 okay changes will come into effect after you do okay i want to center justify that i'm going to change that text to the blue that i like to use which is deep blue sky deep blue sky so that's blue now i can delete this because i don't need it anymore so now i want the project name up here so i'm copying these i'm not i'm not moving them because i'm going to alter these ones to something else so i go up here do paste drag that across till it clicks in there drag i like to drag it both ways rather than just dragging one corner up diagonally uh, so this is still highlighted here so i change the color of this text i have it as gray so dark gray um uh, actually it's not dark gray what is it it's the dim gray <clears throat> dim gray and 
you want to change your text size I'm going to change it to bold and 18 okay um, project name I want that to be also center justified so go to the top go center um, I want these two backgrounds so click on that and control and I want those backgrounds to be light gray like these ones down here so now it's starting to look a little bit like the other one uh, sorry I pressed escape here by accident so make sure you do yes to save that I'm gonna have to open that again it takes a couple of seconds to generate all right so it's saved at least uh, so just be careful to save it all the time so this is list type saw lists I want to change this to capitals and I'll go down here to where the writing is. Uh, so let's cap so let's so I'll do all capitals. So I want to do so list picks. So list picks. Alright, that's good. Now sometimes there'll be a tag in here. If you want to put in your own text, you have to delete that tag. <coughs> Detailer is good, client is good. You know what? I want to change that text color just to make it stand out a little bit. So I'm going to make it, I'm going to go in here, I'm going to make it bold. And I'm also going to change the color of it to an orange I like to use, which is like a deep orange or dark orange, I should say. <clears throat> so that kind of matches in my logo. I'm trying to keep these colors the same. So this blue is Dodger blue, that's incorrect. I want that to be the deep blue sky. And deep blue sky. And you know, I should have picked all those together with the control button. I could have changed them all at the same time, sorry. Deep blue sky. Alright. So they're all changed. Now I already have the project and the project name up here. I want to change this to phase like the other drawing. I want to save that again. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I have a habit of pressing escape too many times sometimes to get back out of things. So that's what happened there again. Um, so this one, you can see the text is project, but it's controlled also by this tag. So if I want to change this to phase, if I try and just change this, Let's uh, do a phase and click over here. It changes the phase. But now if I save this and OK, that's saved. Now when I go back in, unless I'm mistaken, in 2019 anyway, it didn't work. Yeah, see, it's changed back to project. So that could be frustrating. So what you need to do is click on the project. Click on the project and see it's back to project. So you want to delete that tag. And put in phase. And now that will save it properly. So in here, <clears throat> I want to use another tag and it's it's in your list of it's going to be in your list of attributes advanced steel uh, tokens so I've already used it here <clears throat> so what this allows me to do is it allows me with this tag when I put a project user attribute 5 when I list that in my in my drawing that will come up in here so you know uh, I'll show you how that works now in a second so let me just copy this copy and then I'm gonna go back to the saw list that I was using go in here name a project this is controlled by this tag again so delete the tag first uh, I'm not sure if this is the right way to do it, but it works for me, so I, I delete the tag every time. Deep blue sky, I'm going to change that to 
the orange that I had for the other one, so the dark orange. And that's okay, that seems to be the way I want it now, so I'll just save that. And put your saw list, okay. <coughs> okay, that's cool. So that's what I want. So let's save now like this, so I can close this out. So now, if I just want to if I just want a list for that grade and not this grade, well, let's just call this grade one and grade two. So what I would do is I'll go into my home. I'll go into my use my project data. I'll go down to my user attributes. I'll put in here grade one. <coughs> so then if he wants these grades this week, the client, what I'll do is, I'll just pick this grade, and I'll do my assembly list, let's say. So, and you'll see on the assembly list, that comes in as grade 1. So that's cool, I can output that, everything is fine, no problem. Uh, do you want to save it? No. So then next week, he calls me back and says I want this grade, so then I'll go back in here, I'll go to project attributes, I'll change this to grade 2, or you can put the date, whatever you want to put in there, it doesn't really matter. Uh, update your project settings, uh, select that, assembly lists, and then this one should come up, same as the other one, only has grade 2. So this was my way around it, because up here project was always going to be controlled by the project name, which never changes, so I added this phase. I guess I could call this something different than phase, but works for me right now. Um, apart from that, <coughs> um, as you can see, there's an image in here controlling mine. Um, if you want to know how to put the image in there, these are all controlled in your management tools. So if you open your management tools and go to, 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 to table editor, and then just filter by report. Uh, sorry, I have to get it loaded first. And then report. And then go to your <coughs> um, ask our current add ons and port types. You can see here, this is where it's controlled. Ask our current add in report types. Um, it's number nine ADM is my company one category ADM and this is the PNG. Now this needs to be saved in let me see C location program data Autodesk 2020 USA shared support um I believe it's template. No, I'm wrong. Sorry, it's toolbars. I gotta go back. Uh, shared support toolbars, and there it is. Uh, it's a bit cheesy, I know. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, so you just basically go in here, copy this, copy, go back out of this, go back in here, put it in here, put it in here, and that'll control that. Um, if you want to create a new report, you also have to do it in here. You can just do a new one, type it in here, 10, call it whatever company name you want, and that'll give you a new category in your toolbar. Now, <coughs> this will update automatically as you're working on it, so you can just close that down. But what you need to do to make the changes come into effect here is you need to close all these down then close advanced steel, open advanced steel, and then open all these again. So just open them all again, and then they'll regenerate. Now, I didn't do it there, there's no need for me to close out and open again. Um, I'm not sure if people do it, this is the way I do my lists, I don't do it the other way. Um, I don't do it through the create lists, I just do it all through my toolbar here, select what I need and control it through groups. Sometimes I'll just make, I'll just create groups in here. And I would just say, create a group <clears throat> for grade one. Obviously you wouldn't do it for a project this small, 
but I'll have a great one. Select all these, add elements, and then do great two, great two, and then add all those elements. And then they're good to go, you know, then if it's a lot more parts, you can just do select elements, those elements are selected, and then just go to your lists and create material lists, and there's your list. Uh, the lists update fairly quickly, so I don't worry about updating lists or anything. I just recreate lists whenever I need them, every day if I have to. I'm not sure if that's good practice. It seems to be good practice for me at the minute. But anyway, I'll sign off. Sorry, I'm dragging out this video a little bit. Um, I hope that was helpful. And if anyone has any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And uh, I'll see you next time. Hopefully, I'll do a video on creating a new material, a new, a new section in advanced steel. And uh, I'll leave that for next time. Anyway, have a good day. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.